Hello mates, in this video I'll talk about the possibility of earning some sort of passive income using the Chrome browser. Most of us know about Grass, about it being listed on lots of exchanges, how its price spiked up, and how early joiners made a good amount of money out of it. In a nutshell, Grass rewards its users for sharing their unused internet bandwidth in the Grass network, privacy being preserved, from their documentation. Grass will be available for Android and iOS platforms soon, Q4 being stated, you could also install the desktop application earning double the rewards, but this video is not a technical one, it's about Chrome browser and its extensions. Before diving in, I want to specify that this is not financial advice and can't be taken as financial advice as all projects presented in this video are free to install and use, most of them rewarding you for sharing the unused internet bandwidth, similar to Grass. Without further ado, let's start the presentation. NodePay repays us for sharing our unused internet bandwidth. NodePay's token is not released yet, but there was a recent tweet on X to prepare your Solana wallets, pointing out at November 2024 for launch. A good incentive to get in is that NodePay already has a mobile app for Android systems or iOS, in addition to the Chrome extension. This was back in November. In December they released the airdrop checker, and who knows, until you will see this video, maybe the token is already out, but don't worry, we will still be able to earn in the node pay ecosystem with our nodes. Last information I have before releasing the video, BitGet announced that NC, node pay coin, will be listed on their exchange on January 6, 2025. How great is that? Don't miss out mates. Distribute AI, also known as Oasis AI, is building a layer 1 network infrastructure in the AI space. Users can use their Discord server to create AI-generated images, or can add their bot to another Discord server to generate images, or generate them images directly in users' Twitter or X account, or can participate with compute power on their graphical processor units or video cards, or, or, or. Oasis AI really tries to create a distributed compute network, but as I've said, this is not a technical video, Oasis AI has a Chrome extension that help users earn points in their ecosystem alongside a desktop app for Windows, Linux or Mac. Differently from the most other projects is that we can run as many nodes on the same IP as we want, if you run an Oasis AI node on Chrome, it's recommended to install the desktop app as well for maximum eligibility to be rewarded later on, in the end, it's about compute power, but Oasis team mentioned they'll support their own Docker container at some point. Block Mesh supports deceptive alignment monitoring through a network of decentralized nodes known as Sentinels, which collaboratively monitor AI behavior. This ensures that AI systems are genuinely aligned with ethical and operational standards rather than merely appearing compliant, rewarding us in the process for providing our unused internet bandwidth. Block Mesh Sentinel nodes are only available on Chrome as the project is in its very early stages. Block Mesh ultimately fosters transparency and bridges the gap between AI service providers and consumers, reinforcing trustworthiness and ethical practices in digital ecosystems. Gradient Network's goal is to make computing more accessible and affordable for everyone. They are building a decentralized platform that connects and uses various underused computing resources from around the world. This approach supports innovative applications like content delivery, serverless computing, and AI processing, shaping the future of how we use and share computing power. Gradient Network will have three phases. Pervasive connectivity. Homogenized computation and adaptive orchestration. We can join early, as Gradient is at the pervasive connectivity phase, adding the Gradient Sentry node extension to our Chrome browsers. In Season 0, as they call it, Sentry nodes get proof of availability rewards based on their uptime, proof of connectivity rewards when their connectivity is verified by the network, but we can also get bonuses for referrals and boost rewards by completing achievements in the Gradient dashboard. Use only one account on your devices, you can use as many devices as you want on the same IP, but the rewards will be split amongst devices, so my advice is to connect them on different networks. 
Toggle is an initiative set to transform the global digital workforce through AI-powered automation and DPIN technology. It empowers individuals and organizations to enhance their digital workflows, boosting efficiency and productivity. Early adopters contribute to and benefit from this groundbreaking shift in digital work. The project's vision is to unlock AI's potential for a collaborative future between humans and technology. You can become a toggler using their Chrome extension on your computer. But remember, one node per IP. We can participate in the functor network with lightweight nodes. These nodes don't manage full blockchain states, but only wallet-specific configurations. We have to interact with the interface daily to submit claims, which might be an inconvenient for most of us. My advice is to use the wallet application to sign up instead of the email, but create a new wallet address specifically for the project. They have a very detailed documentation, please check it out if you want to know more, the project looks promising to me. Oh, and a last tiny detail to add to it, one node per user, regardless how many different IPs and locations you may have. Maybe creating more users? Dawn is a decentralized wireless network for delivering internet service. The main goal is to empower users to operate as their own internet provider. We can participate early in the project installing their Chrome extension, making an account, referrals and validator nodes, for later on. There is a very important specification about the project, to avoid future issues, they ask one node per user to ensure fairness, so be advised. Better said, one node per household. Even if we run more nodes on different locations using the same account, we will be rewarded as running just one. Do I see multiple accounts on the horizon? Quote. The Tinio community node allows you to unlock public social media data streams from platforms like X, Reddit, TikTok, and Facebook. By running a node, you contribute to a decentralized network that unlocks traditional data access barriers, ensuring that users, not corporations, benefit from the value of the data. When you run a Tinio community node, you help make public social media data accessible to a broader community, all while earning rewards. End quote. To run a node, you guessed it, we have to install their Chrome extension. It's a different approach of using our unused internet bandwidth and data. We would have to connect the node again from time to time, sometimes even several times a day, which might be an inconvenient for some of us. Alpha OS is the world's first decentralized data execution layer for AI representing a major step forward for the crypto industry and AI development. As AI reshapes industries, the need for secure and transparent frameworks is critical. The project positions blockchain as the foundation for AI's future. Their mission is to build a blockchain-powered ecosystem where AI can thrive beyond traditional constraints, driving innovation, efficiency, and fairness. We can add their extension to our Chrome browsers and start mining alpha points in the current Odyssey Season 1. But we can do much more, we can use the platform to trade with AI or old-fashioned AI chat. I recommend reading the white paper to really understand their vision. Pipe Network is a decentralized content delivery network, utilizing a unique architecture built on the Solana blockchain, offering a scalable, cost-efficient, and highly secure solution for delivering content globally. It allows anyone to operate nodes, leading to an expanded network of points of presence nodes in hyper-local regions worldwide. This model not only reduces latency but also provides a solution to the centralized inefficiencies of traditional content delivery networks. That's it, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm joking, there are more projects that we can use to earn using our Chrome browsers, so don't go away just yet. The Cyrus Foundation is revolutionizing the digital landscape by shifting from centralized data control to a decentralized, collaborative AI economy. By democratizing AI development and leveraging unstructured data, Cyrus aims to make innovation accessible and equitable for all. Its approach reduces costs and decentralizes data processing, enabling broader participation in AI development. 
Cyrus paves the way for a future where AI development is no longer monopolized by large corporations, fostering collaboration, innovation, and equity in the global AI economy. And, we can take advantage of it by installing their Chrome extension to earn while we surf the internet and more. Stop. Following. Me. Just. Stop. Bless Network, as the name suggests, is blessing your computers with divine touch for smooth computational operations. Joking. Blockless Network, aka Bless Network, is self-entitled as the world's first shared computer. The network will support computational tasks in the future, but for now, it rewards users for their unused bandwidth using a Chrome extension. I recommend checking the documentation because they will support a variety of different nodes after testing phase will be completed, even multi-asset staking and restaking Ethereum or other assets. Kaisar tends to become a decentralized GPU network designed to provide unlimited computing power to machine learning and AI applications. Besides the Zero node which is available as a Chromium extension, the focus of this video, they offer Genesis NFTs that would benefit early adopters, they say. Kaisar network operates on the peak blockchain and it uses the idle resources of the machine running the Chrome extension. ThreatSlayer is a free, AI-powered browser protection tool that blocks phishing, scams, and harmful downloads in real-time. Unlike traditional tools, it uses a proactive AI classifier to detect novel threats instantly. With easy one-click installation and community-driven improvements, ThreatSlayer ensures robust online safety. Future blockchain integration will reward users with iLock native tokens for contributing security data, combining advanced AI, Web3, and community collaboration to make the internet safer for all. The only inconvenient for some of us if that they implemented Know Your Client Verification. The Mesh Chain Browser node enables users to contribute idle compute resources to a decentralized network designed for AI workloads, allowing them to earn rewards. By activating the Chrome extension, users can effortlessly become part of the Mesh Chain network, powering tasks such as AI training and inference. Participants are compensated with points that will be converted into MCP tokens for their shared resources, and the platform ensures privacy, security, and fairness through blockchain technology. By using Mesh Chain, individuals contribute to the scalable and decentralized computing revolution in artificial intelligence while earning rewards in the process. GAEA comes with a new concept, Godhood, being a God-making project believing that human data forms the genetic foundations of AI, attempting to make the silicone-based life understand human behavior. It's a very different concept and I recommend reading the explanation from the Godhood tab from the GAEA dashboard. Totally different view regarding AI systems, human interactions, and future implementations. The developing team recommends one node per IP and per user. Grid AI states it's simple, turn your unused bandwidth into profit. It's using the data for AI companies and Fortune 500, being a residential proxy network. In quarter 2 2025 they will list on centralized and decentralized exchanges and open a staking program, so, I guess we should hurry up and install the Chrome extension. OpenLoop is yet another bandwidth sharing project that contributes to AI development, with a Chrome extension for us to use and earn points. There are some differences in the reward system, like, we can earn from referrals from users using referrals from users that used referrals from the users that used our referrals. Also, they have node validator keys, 0.7 Solana each, to boost our points earnings. I'm not endorsing anyone buying anything, me, personally, I use the extension as is, free. Alliance Games is a platform presenting multiple ways to earn in its ecosystem, from games that could be played on chain, to compute or storage nodes available for AMD64 or ARM64 machines, and more. As Chrome extension, Alliance Games offers the light nodes which are basically earning using the unused bandwidth. 
I recommend signing up using an EVM wallet like MetaMask as there's no way, at least for now, to merge accounts that are using a different way of logging in procedure. Create a new wallet address for this project to stay on the safe side if there are any concerns regarding. To be able to unlock the full earnings referral program, we need to purchase an Alliance Games NFT worth 9.9 .9 USDT on OpBNB or Polygon chains, which, if we get 5 active referrals using our code, will be refunded to our wallets. There are so many things to cover about this project, which is not the scope of this video. Oh, and, one light node per IP is permitted. Stream AI revolutionizes AI data provisioning through decentralized web scraping, offering scalable, diverse, and cost-effective data. By distributing tasks across smart devices, it ensures efficiency and geographical diversity. The platform focuses on ethical practices, using publicly available data, encrypted transfers, and anonymized contributions. An AI-powered reputation system rewards high-quality contributions with performance-based incentives and bonuses. One node per IP permitted. It took a lot of research and time to make this video, so, please, don't forget to give it a like to boost its visibility and help others find it and benefit from its information. There are other similar projects, but I decided not to share them in this video because, after researching them, I found, lack of communication with their communities on social media, or buggy extensions, or reported as phishing sites, or lack of development and so on. If you think I missed a good project, don't hesitate to post it in the comments, I'll use your referral if any. You could even post referrals from the mentioned projects I presented, I won't mind. Just comment something. And, as New Year 2025 is here when I'm posting this video, I want to wish you all to have a happy one, the new year to bring you prosperity and happiness. Enjoy the festivities!